She was a Bangladesh beauty. Bright smile, quick to laugh, a brilliant mind. Well-educated and ambitious, her life was a golden promise. Teaching at the university, close to her parents, her life filled with friends. And then she got married, and the abuse started. He wanted to control her. When he failed, he would attack her, hit her, slap her. Until one day, wild with rage, he choked her. He beat her, and then forced his thumbs so deeply into her eyes, her sight was lost forever. She was 32 years old. Her name is Romana Monsieur. The first time he slapped her was on their wedding night. From that moment on, the abuse was unrelenting. Daily demeaning cruelty. Things started looking up when she was hired as an assistant professor at the University of Bangladesh. For a few months, he stopped hitting her. But the abuse resumed after their daughter was born. In Bangladesh, it is believed that if a man beats his wife, it is her fault. So there are virtually no resources available for victims of domestic violence. I was quite determined at that time. As a lecturer, as a professor, I need higher education. I want to get it in North America, and there is no way I'm going to listen to you. Romana flew over 11,000 kilometers to the University of British Columbia. And it was here, far from the controlling hand of her husband, that she began to reclaim the person she had once been, intelligent, smart, well-liked, radiant, a woman who knows her worth in the world. When I wasn't under his control anymore, it brought a huge change that I was able to think more clearly. Romana was determined to return home to Bangladesh, reclaim her life, and create a brighter future for both her and her daughter. So I needed to file a divorce to get my daughter's custody, and I wanted to get it done very fast. I did contact my ex-husband, and I thought he took it really well. He didn't say anything that day. But he didn't take it well. Romana had just begun to believe that her life was going to be all right. She was at her parents' home when there was a knock on the door. He snicked into the room and locked the door and then went straight for my throat and strangled me. And he beat off the tip of my nose. And then I saw him just putting both his fingers into my eyes and just vigorously moving them back and forth and trying to gouge my eyeballs out. Then he pulled my hair, dragged me onto the floor, and then kept hitting me with uh, anything and different objects. At that point, I wasn't able to see anything anymore. In the hospital, Romana held out hope that her sight could be restored. But in the end, the doctors were powerless to help. She would be blind for the rest of her life. A phone call brought an offer from Canada to return to UBC and finish her master's degree, to live the life she always dreamed of living, and to learn to live it blind. Romana and her daughter left Bangladesh for Vancouver and never looked back. It was very overwhelming. First, I focused on learning how to operate the CD player, then the recorder, then how to get my master's thesis done, then how to write the law school admission test, then apply to law school, then finish my master's degree, then how to defend my master's degree, then I ended up in law school. <laughs> and it just felt like I just jumped into the ocean without knowing how to swim. <laughs> But swim she did. Every day for Romana was an enormous challenge. Yet step by step, inch by inch, Romana fought to finish her degree. And with the help of her many friends, Romana graduated and was called to the bar. Her passion was serving her fellow Canadians. And to that end, she joined the Department of Justice as a litigator. She fights for the rights of all Canadian people, both here and abroad, every day. She also began speaking in public, advocating for women's rights, especially the rights of women in abusive relationships. I was the perfect example of how a community can change someone's life and then give her or him a chance to 
think about their life all over again. In no time, Romana was being invited to speak at conferences across the country. She was asked to participate in a documentary film raising awareness of issues related to marriage and women. I wanted to make our society a better place where people would be more inclusive, they want to be biased, when they see someone, they won't see their ethnicity, you know, like how I see people. I don't know if you have a, a white hair or blonde hair or black hair, so those things don't matter to me at all, and I just see people with my heart. Powerful words from a powerful woman whose wisdom is born of hard-won victories, overcoming enormous obstacles only to reach back and help others. Through my journey, what I have learned is you can see more with your mind than you can ever see with your eyes. Blind or not, everyone can look forward. Everyone can create or recreate their future. Even in the darkest hour, if you truly envision that better days will come, you look over past the mole hills. You gaze beyond, way beyond, until you see a glimmer of hope. A hope that comes as a light on the mountainside that tells you a new day is coming. Napoleon Hill said, that defeat is temporary until you give up and make it permanent. And that is why organizations like the Coast Mental Health is so important. And that is why this recognition is so important to me. And I'm truly humbled and want to thank you all for that. Our life is like an ocean. It comes at you in waves. It has its undercurrents and hidden obstacles. But it also has its beauty and it's full of adventure. The important thing is how you decide to navigate those currents. Never forget that no one and nothing can defeat us Canadians. No one and nothing can defeat us, the human race. And thank you all. She exemplifies courage with her fierce determination. She exemplifies love with her commitment to her family and to her beloved daughter, who is the light of her life. Hearing her story, I think you'll agree that because Romana wants to change the world for the better, she will change the world for the better. With her enormous heart, her steely determination, and her remarkable courage to come back.